Hey Green Bay High School staff, today we're going to look at uh, creating a blog post for doing a reflection on our effective learner profile. So you've just been listening to Caroline and Joe talk through the effective learner profile and we're going to create a blog post where we can reflect uh, on ourselves as learners uh, based on one of three scenarios. So what you're going to need is you're going to need this slideshow, um, you're going to need the blog and you're going to need the Google Doc with the um, code that you'll need to paste into your uh, blog post. And if you like, you'll be watching the video that's on slide nine of this uh, presentation, or you're viewing it on YouTube as well. You can also find both in the week five um, professional learning resources. So what we're going to do, we're going to head over to the blog. And once you're at the blog, you're going to tap on new post. I'm going to head straight into editing our new post. And we're going to give our post a name. We're going to call it the Effective Learner Profile Reflection. And just as we did when we did our uh, appraisal template, we're going to switch into HTML view. So we've got our cursor in there, and there's currently nothing in there. So we're going to switch over now, and we're going to go to that um, Effective Learner Profile Reflection Blog Post Code Google Doc. And all we need to do is we need to just click in and Control A to select all. And then we go Control C to copy all that code. We don't need to know anything about what that code does. We just need to now go back into our blog post, click in and we go control V and we've entered all that code. We're just going to scroll, scroll back up to the top and if we flick back into visual mode, you'll see that our uh, blog post is all ready to go. The last thing we need to do before we start actually reflecting and filling in that blog post is to head over to the categories and tags. We're going to tag it as PTC4, ongoing professional learning, and we just need to scroll to the bottom and untick the uncategorized. That's not a crucial step, but otherwise you're going to end up with heaps of posts also categorized as uncategorized. So now that I've done that, I'm all ready to go in, pick my scenario, fill in um, the table, and then reflect on the post at the bottom. Thanks for watching.